I was hungry, so I was going through my fridge trying to figure out what I could snack on or what I could make. And I don't know, but I just, I have some tomatoes that are about to turn and I have two perfect peaches. And I think I'm gonna make some bruschetta, some bruschetta, however you wanna say it, that's up to you, but I say bruschetta. And um, peaches are underused sometimes in the cooking aspect. So they are perfect right now. We are in prime peach season. And we're gonna grill these babies up with some fresh ricotta on a grilled crostini and basil. And then I got all these tomatoes from my garden. Do you see this? I mean, I've had an abundance of tomatoes. We're gonna slow roast these with herbs de Provence, a little oregano, some olive oil, garlic cloves, and we're gonna make like a tomato confit jam to go right on top of the crostinis as well. Pour a glass of wine, go sit outside. It's gonna be a beautiful snack. I'm gonna put the peaches on the side right now because the big thing is getting the tomatoes in the oven. So I'm using the great tomatoes in here, oregano and herbs de Provence. And I have around 10 cloves of garlic that I have cleaned. And I'm gonna use avocado oil. And the reason we're using avocado oil is because it's gonna have a higher smoke point. So it's gonna end up um, not making the tomatoes bitter, but actually bringing out the sweetness in them because they'll still roast nice, low and slow. You want to let these go for around 45 minutes at 325, 3, 325. Um, they're going to blister. They're going to caramelize a little bit from the natural juices. That's just some salt. Toss it all together. You see this? On a sheet pan in the oven. And then we'll start working on grilling the peaches. Side note, I just want to tell you, do not be scared to season your tomatoes, tomatoes need salt. They absorb salt. So we want to season as we go through each layer, even though I'm going to season the crostinis, I'm going to season my ricotta, I'm going to season the peaches, I'm going to season the tomatoes so that we build the layers of flavor. Just so you can see, all our tomatoes are on the sheet pan. It's greased really well and they're going in the oven. Um, I want to say we'll check them and rotate them in like 15 minutes and give them a little shake just so that they cook evenly. Peach. So, Nice and tender, they're soft. You can smell how sweet it is. It's a stone fruit, so you want to go right down the middle of it and turn it, kind of like you treat it like an avocado. And you go around, if you just turn it, you get peach split right in half. The stone fruit was in there. Now you can slice this in nice pieces like this to put on the grill. Um, each half usually gives me around three slices if I don't get hungry. And it, ooh, that's good. Same thing with this side. The pitch just come right out. Of course, right now, it's not. There we go. Pit comes right out. Garbage. Same thing. Slice it straight down. And then we are going to get the grill on and get these grilled on both sides. With the peaches, I use a little bit of avocado oil on it just so it doesn't stick to the grill. Because of the high sugar that you know the fruit has, it will stick to the grill. So just oil it a little bit and a little bit of sea salt and a little bit of black pepper. We're kind of taking a sweet thing and making it savory. So just give them a good toss and we'll get the grill on at around 400. And this takes no time at all. And then you want to let them rest to kind of cool a little bit before we assemble the Bruschetta. Grill's heating, peaches are cut and cleaned, tomatoes are in the oven. I bought just a really nice French baguette. It's actually this big, but I cut it in half. We're just gonna cut our bread. I like to cut it on a bias and a little thick, probably around an inch, yeah, almost a little, almost an inch. And we're gonna brush these with olive oil and sea salt, and we are going to um, put them on a cast iron pan, both sides, Get them nice and crispy so we can smother them in ricotta. Um, I also pulled my ricotta out, drained it, stirred it, and let it rest. On our tomatoes, gonna give them a good shake. Ooh, they're coming along nice, real nice. Gonna turn them in the tray, give them a good shake. Look at that, look at them starting to blister up. One of the reasons I like to do my crostinis in the cast iron is because it holds the heat really well and you're able to get a really nice crust on your bread. You can do them in the oven, drizzle with olive oil, a little Parmesan throwing them. You can do them on the grill, brush them with olive oil, both sides because there's nice grill marks. So that kind of gives it more of a 
grilled bread effect because it doesn't get crispy, but this gets crispy. So I got a cast iron pan on medium heat, put a little olive oil with avocado oil in there, and I sliced our bread like I said, and now we're just gonna lay these down. Sizzle. And don't overcrowd your pan. I think this could probably fit around five, six. So we're gonna let these go probably around three minutes, two and a half minutes on each side. Two and a half minutes. We'll flip them and then we'll take them off. Have a sheet pan ready with parchment just to let them rest so they get cool. As they cool, they'll crisp up even more. have been on we're gonna oh yeah flip them they've been on probably two minutes on each side look at that look at that beautiful color so we're just giving them a flip do the same thing on the other side Batches in our first batch is resting nicely look at that toasted nice golden beautiful bread we're gonna smother goodness nice hot grill putting our peaches down Oh yeah, just a little avocado oil, a little salt, a little pepper. Beautiful. Now you're normally not cooking them, you're more like just getting a little bit of that char grilled flavor on them. Um, gorgeous, baby, gorgeous. Now we're gonna flip our peaches. Nice, very, very nice. And they've actually softened because the sweetness started to cook out of them. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. If you did pork chops or grilled chicken thighs, this is a great way to, you know, change it up. Grill some peaches as a garnish, make a sauce out of it. I love putting fruit into the food. Just taking out our tomatoes. They are perfect. Blistered. Oh, smells outrageous, especially with all the garlic that's charred up. So now I'm going to take this and roll the foil up. I want all that oil and goodness to make our bruschetta and put this into a bowl to let cool. It just came off the grill. Let's make this bruschetta. The tomatoes are cooling on the side. Oh, I'm so excited. Taking my really nice grilled bread. I have some ricotta. I'm just gonna smother some ricotta right on it. I mean, I'm generous. Gotta be generous. Oh yeah. Then I'm taking one of the peaches that are grilled. Caliente mama. Slicing it right on top. I have, woo, wait. A little bit of honey just to drizzle some fresh basil and the last thing crack a sea salt and now we have peach Christine oh my god that is insane my new favorite go-to, salty, sweet. Oh my God. Actually, you really don't even need the honey, but it adds a nice little note. Look how cute it is. So good. Now we make our tomato one. So same concept. I'm gonna put a little bit of ricotta on my bread. Now I'm not seasoning salt and peppering this just because I really seasoned my tomatoes. And now this is hot, to say the least, so just the smoke. But look at, look how they came out. Oh my God, they're dripping, they're just amazing. Some fresh basil right on top. Oh my God, it smells outrageous. You know what the smell is? That roasted garlic with the sweetness of the tomatoes. Hot, hot, but I can't wait. I can't. Oh my God. This is a game changer. Forget your normal bruschetta. Forget your normal bruschetta. This, from now on.